Welcome back everyone. I'm making a wreath today. I'm Tracy with the Y. Okay. This is the fabric mesh I got from Craft Outlet in chocolate brown. I don't know if I'm going to use a lot of this or not, but I might. So just in case. I'm going to use probably this whole roll, 10 inches, poly mesh from Hobby Lobby. Make sure you can see. All right, guys. So, this is a pine based wreath that I'm redoing for a customer. She, um, I'll show that to you one more time. I don't know if you can see. I did a nine foot Christmas tree. She has a nine foot slim Christmas tree in her living room. And I uh, went and decorated it at Christmas time. But I did it in colors, well, these colors. Colors that she could keep up year round and add to, add different ornaments. She lives in a log cabin, so she kind of has like a woodsy theme, but she keeps it up year round. Um, uh, we, uh, so I decorated it and she loved it. But this wreath, she's gonna keep in the living room too, and she wants it to coordinate with uh, the Christmas tree that she keeps up all the time. So we will put the wreath, the bow on. I don't know if she, how she hangs this. I was gonna see if she had a hook on it so I'd know where to start at. This is probably like a three foot pine base. It looks like from Hobby Lobby, if I had to guess. Hobby Lobby's pine is my favorite. So. Actually, let's put a couple pieces. So we're gonna make butterflies. You know how I do if you follow me. Don't really measure, I just kinda guess. So let's start. This here will give the, the bow a little bit of life. And if you watch me, you know I love pine because you honestly just twist it in, just like that. So I'm gonna do this, put the bow on, and then go from there. I think I'm just gonna put the mesh all the way around it. And um, put the mesh all the way around it, and then add ribbons. Ribbon tails, I guess I should say ribbon tails. And I'll leave some of the pine show because, like I said, she does live in a beautiful log cabin. So, um, this will all go real well. And these are one of those things that there's no wrong or right way. Just add. If you don't like it, take it out. If you love it, leave it. Also, she has some beautiful pine wreaths that she told me she got at a yard sale for a dollar. Um, I'll put them at the end or maybe in the middle. I haven't decided yet. But I already done them and they're outside right now. And I did take a short video, so I'll add it later. But, um, she puts them out around her flower gardens and all that stuff. We just do one bow on it. I make her a bow. I did it for Christmas, I did it for fall, and now I'm doing it for spring. So, uh, so I basically make one big bow, add a few tails, um, and she said I could do whatever I wanted. She'd like to have, she's not picky at all, which is wonderful. <laughs> Those picky customers drive me crazy. Um, she loved every, all four of them, and I did a variety. So, um, like I said, stay tuned. You'll see it in this video. I'll post the little clip I had to do it earlier because the sun's down, and you, if I did it after, you wouldn't be able to see it. 
So, and she might pick them up tomorrow and I won't get a video. So I videoed it and I'll add it here sometime in this video. But those are the four that will go outside her house. Um, she did request if I had something with a gnome. She does a gnome around part of her flower beds. So, and I did have a gnome that, um, uh, it's like a honeybee gnome. So I did a, a big bow of that for her. I did a ladybug one. I did um, a ladybug. I did blue and yellow, like that one wreath, that wreath rescue I did. I did one in those colors. Um, I did one with like butterflies in brighter colors. And then of course the bee, the bee, the ladybug, the butterfly and the gnome. That was all four. So what I'm doing here, I left the back parts of this, because this is on her Christmas tree that she keeps up year round. I left the back parts longer so I could attach it to the pine and twist it in and then do it kind of like this. And let me show you here real quick. The nice thing about this is it's going to be inside so you don't have to tack him down as well as the other ones you got to really because the went you know the elements outside will are hard on Reese so what I've done is I attached it in the back there's the twist tie right there and then I bumped it in right here bumped it in right here bumped it in right here and then just zhuzhed it up a little bit but there's the little butterfly I call them butterflies so, I think that's the only bow I'm going to do on it. So, I'm just going to do mesh all the way around and then just add the, rib the coordinating ribbons and it will match her tree. Actually, the ones outside just look like this. That's pretty basic. Um, just a bow. I didn't even put no mesh in them. Um, I probably could just leave it like this and it would look good in her log cabin. But I'm going to see if I like it with the... Um, with all the mesh around it and the, the ribbon tails. So I'll probably, I'll probably use this whole roll. So I'll just cut until I get tired of cutting. Hope you all have been having a great day. Had some good news and some bad news. Um, the good news is me and two of my best friends yesterday, we had been planning this since January. We went on a little road trip yesterday to um, Ashland, Kentucky. I think it's where it was. It was in Kentucky. I don't know if it was Ashland. I don't remember now. <laughs> Anyways, um, it was about two hours away. It wasn't Ashland, because that's closer. Anyways, we went to a, um, a, well, it's a gas station, but it's called Bucky's. And I don't know if any of you ever been there or not, but um, I was really impressed. I thought um, it smelled so good in there. They have like a brisket bar where they cook the brisket, and then they make the sandwiches right in front of you. Um, so the whole place smelled wonderful. And then they also had those, um, you really only, I only ever see them at like at a fair or something or a carnival or festival, but they're, um, like those toasted almonds, how they roast almonds and pecans and sugar them and stuff. So it smelled like delicious brisket and, um, sugared pecans <laughs> it was amazing um but anyways if you've never been to a bucky's um i kind of describe it as a um uh i'm just twisting these in, in now um i describe it as it's kind of like it was huge trying to think what I'd describe it and it's a gas station but it was like 
um, it's kind of like a crackle, cracker barrel on steroids. Or it was like, hmm, I don't know. It was, my mind just went blank what I described it as yesterday. Kind of like a TJ Maxx and a gas station married <laughs> or, and had a baby. So there is, um, uh, you know, every t-shirt you could think of, um, cowboy hats, little baby clothes, uh, all different kinds of like, um, homemade jams and, uh, seasoning like rub rubs, um, uh, cups, earrings, bathing suits. I mean, really, it was like a TJ Maxx and a gas station had a baby. Or kind of like a Cracker Barrel, but like a hundred times bigger. Not all that crampedness, you know? So, uh, it was very interesting. It was so busy. There were people everywhere. Um, they had a coffee bar. Oh my gosh. I love coffee. My whole family loves coffee. But, um, so all different kinds of iced coffee, regular coffee. You could, uh, so when you got your coffee, you know, it looked like gas station, big pots and stuff. But in the center was this big, um, like, display thing. And they had, like, refrigerated, of course. It had, like, half and half milk. Um, I was a little disappointed. They didn't have any sugar-free creamer. And I always do sugar-free creamer. But I did splurge yesterday um, because I was out and about, and I don't do that very often. Usually Black Friday, and maybe three times a year I get to go with my friends to do stuff like that. But um, anyways, but they had this uh, big thing, and they had half and half milk. They had sweet cream, uh, not sweet cream. They had French vanilla, caramel mochiata. They had the one that's called, um, I think it, I don't think it's called sweet cream. Maybe it's something, something creamy. I don't know. It's those international delight ones. Um, it's really tasty. Uh, so you could just like mix and match your creamers. You could do, I did a little bit of French vanilla cause that's usually my favorite. Um, I did, uh, French vanilla. I did a little bit of caramel mochiata. And a little bit of that, um, the, the sweet cream one. Uh, I wish they would have had sugar-free, but they didn't. So, so I had a large coffee, and I had it drink before I left. I mean, that's how long it took me. I drank a whole cup of coffee just shopping around, looking at things. Um, I got uh, some. We also went to Jungle Gyms, too, not to change the subject. But we just went shopping. We were gone we were gone over 12 hours. We were gone all, we left at eight and I did not get back until, um, almost 11 o'clock. So it was more than 12 hours. That would be what eight to eight is 12. We were gone. We were gone a long time. So, um, almost 16 hours, <laughs> but it was a two hour drive. And James was like, you drove two hours to go to a gas station. And I was like, well, everybody talks about it. And we just made it a day. We just made a day of it. And we had um, dinner at a Mexican restaurant. Um, at Bucky's, we had, I had, um, actually, Tina had one too. <laughs> it was called um, Sausage on a Stick. It was a, tw not 12 foot, 12 inch sausage. Um, and it was wrapped in a tortilla uh, shell. It was kind of like a Polish sausage um, on a stick. It was really good. I knew I would regret eating that because sometimes things like that gives me heartburn. But, uh, so I had a sausage on a stick there. Um, what else did I have? I got all of the, like, I brought things home for the family. I got, and I just kept laughing because it was like beaver nuggets. So this tastes like Cracker Jacks. It's delicious. And then I got Bucky's Nuggies <laughs> White Cheddar. These taste like um, cheddar popcorn. 
I got beaver nuggets in the cinnamon sweet, and this is really, really tasty. Um, what else did I get there? Oh, got chocolate chip cookies. These are James's favorite chocolate chip cookies, but uh, he said these are really good. Actually, he said, no, they're not good at all, which means he didn't want us to eat them. Um, and then I brought them each home a, a brisket sandwich. Uh, what else? I, I spent, I think I spent $100 there. Uh, got a couple other things. I was going to get an Easter shirt, and I didn't. But they just had really cute things. Um, and they had, like, Columbia brand. They had, you know, every hat you could think of. I got a couple different rubs there. I got this barbecue rub. I love seasonings. I don't know if you can see that. And this says it was five time world champion rub a dub rib rub. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyways, so I can't wait to try that. I'm gonna do a click list and get some chicken and do something with that. Um, uh, here, let me take a breath. So here was where we're at so far. I got two left. So the wreath will hang like this. So I'm probably gonna put those here. And I like it. But, uh, so yeah, we, we were there. We were probably there for an hour or so. If I don't forget, I'll add some photos in the video so you guys can see. Um, my friend Carrie and Tina, they're my best friends. Tina and Carrie went. Um, we've been friends for a lot, many, many years. We always have a good time um, and laugh. Um, the sausage on a stick was quite, <coughs> quite hilarious. Um, anyways, we just had a good time and it was much needed. Um, my best friend, Angie couldn't go. Her mom is not feeling well. So if you guys pray out there, pray for her, her mother, um, she's just been sick. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but they just can't seem to get her well, but she's been in and out of the hospital and Angie's been staying with her night and day and just wore out. Anyways, pray for her. Her name is Mary. Um, like the mother Mary. She could use them for sure. Angie too. Angie's exhausted. I'm sad that she didn't get to go because she always has lots of fun stories to tell. Um, so, that was my yesterday. We went, Like I said, we went to Bucky's first. Then, from there, we went to Jungle Gyms. Jungle Gems, I got all kinds of stuff. I got James a couple of his Anna bars. I got, you know, I've quit desserts for a while. I'm trying to lose weight before I go back to work. And um, uh, I got, they, well, they sell cake by the slice. They also have um, the New York, New York, what's that called? Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake, all the flavors of that. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to a Jungle Gyms, but they, that place is, that's a day trip in itself right there. James, when we go, we're always there at least two hours. Um, but anyways, I got a piece of German chocolate cake. My mom used to make a German chocolate cake. Um, I think my dad loved it, if I'm not mistaken. But then I always think he doesn't like coconut, but maybe he doesn't like pineapple. I can't remember. So, um, anyways, it was, and I, I splurged, and I ate it on the way home in the car because it was two hours home, or an hour, maybe it was an hour and 50 minutes home, um, our drive. So, uh, it was stinking. It was either stinking delicious, which it was delicious, or it's because I haven't really had desserts in the solid two weeks. So, that could have been a factor also. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more of these brown ones. This is like a chocolate brown. That's probably too long. Which, there's chocolate 
and gold in this ribbon. But uh, no, we had a great time. We went to a couple Joanne fabrics. I'm getting nervous because jo they say Joanne's is filed bankruptcy. But Joanne's is where I get all of my um, grapevine wreaths from that I make wreaths with. I've been to three Joanne's. They have no grapevine. And you can't order it online either. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um... I have a couple orders I need to work on, but I'm just going to have to make a mesh like you've seen me make mesh before because I don't have, I don't have any grapevine. So, I'm going to have to do something. Something, something. All right, let's cut two more and I think we'll be done. And then we'll start adding some ribbon. Uh, we went to Joann's. We went to Two Home Goods. A couple TJ Maxx. Oh my gosh, I got, I'll have to show you. I've already decorated for Easter and I didn't record it. Easter has fallen at a weird time this year, so I'm not a little bit behind. I, uh, I'm just gonna leave it up till April. So I might do a, a little video of all the decorations, but not tonight, because my living room's a mess right now and I'm not taking you in there. Um, but I'll bring in what probably my favorite thing I got yesterday was, I think. It was my favorite. I don't know. Okay, so what do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? I'm going to put a brown right here. I get a bit carried away. I always say, I'm just going to do a little bit. And the next thing you know, I've used six rolls. Because the more stuff I use, the more I have to charge. And I always try to keep the prices down. Um, so. I really like these tails. These little tailsies. Little tailsies. I'm going to twine a few of these. Or I'm going to twine this tail in and then curl it to keep it stationary here. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Okay. So what I did was I just twined it right here. I twined it here. I twined this one here. Right here. Okay. Now we'll just put some, some ribbon through it. And these ribbons, this is from Sam's Club. This is, I think, a five inch ribbon, mainly Christmas. This is Sam's Club and it's chocolate and gold. Used it mostly at Christmas. This fur is from Walmart don't have a whole lot of that left and then this white stripe is an everyday ribbon and it's from Sam's Club so let me see what I got here kids all right so for like this we hang it like this like so like that I definitely need a piece of mesh right here. There, right there. Okay, so we'll do this. You know, I just usually line them up, fold them in half, 
and I love pine because you just twine it in and then I will just curl it it's really good ribbon it holds curl um, if it comes uncurled you can recurl it the good thing about Susie is she's a hairstylist so she probably knows her way around a curling iron <laughs> so this is the lady who's getting this okay so let's just cut some and add some As you can see, I don't really measure. I'm not teaching you anything. I'm not a teacher, for sure. I'm a doer. I just do it. I'm not a very good describer <laughs> at all. So I just do the best I can. I don't show everything that I do. a few of these. We'll put these every so often, but we'll go ahead and start here. Okay, so yesterday was a really good day. Um, ate a lot of food. I ate way too much food. Oh my gosh, I ate way too much food. But, um, but the sad news is, is um, you know, I work for a local pool store here in town. Um, uh, it's a family-owned business, and I manage the Jackson store. Oh, I don't... Anyways, whatever. Too late. I already said it. Um, so, um, but it's, uh, it's a business, a family-owned business out of Gallia that's been in business for um, almost as long as I've been alive. I think it's like 45 years, something like that. They've been in business. There's Race. Race mowed the grass today. I'm so excited. He did a good job. It, um, sorry, I, I always get sidetracked. Um, but um, he mowed the front where the dogs go because it was just really getting long so um, anyways it was deep in the front the back's not bad at all so so when he got home from work he switched clothes and we went out and did that we had to jump it the mower it, it was dead so it took us a little bit but you know what let's do this okay anyways back to my story so uh so my, my bosses, which is um, Penny and Bobby, uh, they've been in business, I, I think it's 45 years. I might be wrong. I can't remember the exact year they started. But they've been in the swimming pool business for a long, long time. And um, really good people. You just couldn't ask for nicer people. Um, really giving. Um, and uh, Bobby was an expert. He installed pools in grounds, above grounds, half in ground. Um, super nice guy. Loved to golf. Um, always so friendly and kind. Um, always nice to me. Uh, anyways, Jamie called me. Call me Monday. What is today? Thursday. She called me Tuesday. And she said, Tracy. And I was like, Yeah. She's like, What are you doing? I was like, Oh, just just got up. She's like, Okay. She's like, Well, I have something to tell you. And I'm like, What? I'm like, I'm like, okay. So then I started getting nervous because she was kind of hem hauling around him, which is not like Jamie. Jamie's the type that she just she gets right to business. She'll tell you right what she needs, and if she needs you to go over the store and do something, or 
ask you a question or something. Um, so she kind of was stalling a little bit, and I was like, what? What's going on? Anyway, she's like, you're not going to believe this. And I was like, tell me. <laughs> I was starting to get like, I thought something was wrong with Penny. And um, so, anyways, um, Bobby was on a golf trip with his friends. And um, unfortunately, they went, they, they had went, they golfed all day. He always goes on a trip right before pool season because that's when we start getting real busy here soon. So he always, it's an annual trip. He goes with his buddies. They all golf. They play poker. They do all the things, you know, boys, men do, you know, have a good time. Um, anyways, he, um, they had played golf all day. They played poker all evening, went up to their rooms. So I gotta cut some more ribbon. Anyways, so the next morning they went to breakfast. They all went to breakfast and Bobby didn't show up for breakfast. So one of the guys that was on the trip went to check on him, see what was going on. And they found him dead in his bathroom at the hotel. Um, it's tragic. It's so tragic. I couldn't even imagine. Um, you know, your husband going away and then just doesn't come back. It's just, it's horrible. It's horrible. And they were in Myrtle Beach. So, I mean, could you imagine? Like, you, you couldn't get to them. You know? You, it's over like nine hours away and um Penny's just devastated and my Livy's devastated and Katie and Kelly he has two daughters and a granddaughter um they think maybe he had had a heart attack they thought maybe he was take he that he had there was a couple water spills they thought maybe he was taking his medicine I mean they don't know exactly and they might not even tell me. I don't, I mean, I don't know, but anyways, it's just devastating, and I feel so sorry for Penny, and, you know, and getting ready to start pool season, and it's just, um, it's going to be a stressful time for sure, and then, you know, I feel bad for Jamie, because Jamie manages the Gal Plus store, and she, um, Bobby was like her dad, it's just, it's just, it's just horrible, I can't even imagine, it's horrible, it's so horrible, so horrible. Anyways, um, that was the sad news. Um, I know in life, you know, we're all going to die. Um, we know that, you know, and you just have to be ready. When that time comes, you just got to be ready. So, anyways, it's tragic. It's, the only thing I could think of is Bobby loved to golf. I mean, he I'm pretty sure, I don't know exactly, but I'm pretty sure he went to the golf course in Gallia every day. Um, such a kind soul and so helpful and so smart. Oh my gosh, Bobby's so smart. Like anything you need to know about a swimming pool, Bobby could tell you. He could tell you. Um, just so much knowledge um, in one body. Uh, anyways, he was an excellent husband, um, father, um, he was Olivia's everything, <laughs> he was Olivia's pop, they called, Olivia called him Moppy and Poppy, Olivia, um, is the granddaughter, and she's one of my very best friends, um, we worked together for years, and, um, she's a young girl, she's a college girl, and, uh, I just hurt for her, it's just, anyways, i I'm just sad. I'm so... Actually, I'm in shock. I think Penny's in shock, too. <laughs> like, just, you know, I'm sure she's probably just thinking, well, you know, Robbie's on his trip, and he's on vacation, and he'll be back, and then then we're hit pool season, and pool season for me and, and for, for them is 50 times. It's just busy. I mean, we are so busy. 
Penny runs an excellent business. Um, so our summers fly by. Um, but uh, anyway, so, so please pray for, for Penny and Olivia and Katie and Kelly, um, Jamie. Because, you know, like I said, Bobby was, you know, she dealt with Bobby every day. And she probably spent more time with him than, <coughs> well, not Penny, but <coughs> my heart hurts for all of them. I just can't believe it. I'm still in shock, to be honest with you. I'm getting choked up. <coughs> so, anyways, it's terribly sad. And, and I mean, the good thing is, is he had such a good life. Him and Penny have had an awesome life. Wonderful kids. Um, a successful small business, which is hard to have. And to have it for that many years. Um, but you know, he was doing what he loved. He always looked forward to that trip. Um, before spring, it was in full swing, you know, so, um, I'm glad he was doing what he loved. Um, but they definitely need our prayers for sure. So, um, just a sad story. Okay, okay, let's... Let's switch gears here, kids. Sometimes I get to working and then I, I get sidetracked. Okay. I have this beach towel on my counter so I don't scratch it. But, uh, yeah. So, it's been an emotional week. Gosh, it's been an emotional week. I just can't even believe it. figure it out. We'll figure it out. You know, God never gives us more than we can handle. So, we'll figure it out. All right. Okay. I need to decide if I should stop adding or keep adding. <laughs> I tend to overdo things. So, I might even hang it on this wall so you guys can see. And so I can see Move this coffee thing. I may have to put a, um, I'm gonna turn you a little bit, guys. I may have overdone it. Let me know in the comments. Um, You know what? We can always take it off. I think I love it. Oh, it makes me want Christmas here. You know how I love Christmas. Anyways, so I think I love it, kids. I think I love it. I don't think it needs any more bows. Um, make sure you guys can see. I do see where I probably need to add a few tails. Oh, you can't see, I'm sorry. But I think I'm a complete idiot. See how big that wreath is, it's huge. I might add a few tails right my finger here, right up in this top corner. But I do love it. It makes me miss Christmas. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay, I'm going to bring you down a bit. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you listening to me. And like I said, I'm not trying to teach you anything. I just, I just hope you enjoy this. So, so I'm going to add a few tails right here. to give it a little bit of life by the bow for sure
thank you all for watching and, and liking and subscribing and um, listening to my daily rants and rants, you know. If you have any questions, please ask. I'll do my best to answer. I try to always answer honestly. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to add these, and then I'm curling them a little bit. Give them, just like I do all these other ones here. Give them a little bit of curl. I think I'm going to do two more here, and then we're done. Anyways, but thank you for liking and subscribing. And the more you watch the video, the more it helps me out. I really wanted to hit my thousand subscribers by April. I don't know that's going to happen. I'm just going to keep speaking it that it will happen. But, um, you know, I'm just doing my best and I try to get content up and try to do my shorts and all the things. So, I'm just, I know work's going to start, I'm going to go back to work full time, not next week, but the week after. And I don't know how I'm going to video or what I'm going to video. So, uh, I'm just going to do the best I can and thank you all for sticking with me I do appreciate it but okay alright guys I think I love it I think I love you so what am I so what am I so oh if you guys know anywhere where I can get pine, even order it, I would like to hear your recommendations. Um, like I said, I always order from Joann's, and I'm worried they're going out of business. You know? I don't know, though. We'll see. Okay, so I did them up here. But, okay, I think it looks good. I love a good full wreath, though. Who am I? <laughs> Now, if I had my way, I would put some lights on this, but it's not mine, so anyways. Okay, guys, I'm going to zoom you in, and then I'm going to let you go. And those are chocolates, golds, whites, a uh, little bit of beige. I showed you where all the ribbons were from. Um, if you have any questions, please ask, but I don't know if you can... Even this wreath is huge. It's like Donald Trump huge. It's huge. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see if I have a tape measure. I don't know if I did or not. I think it's packed up. I don't. Wait, here's a, here's a yardstick. This will help me. I need that Gigi in. He's outside. It's dark. I like mom let me in so it's about 36 inches yeah it's about 36 by 36 it is absolutely huge anyways thank you guys for watching have a great day um, please comment and watch my content all the way through and share so I can get some subscribers anyways I appreciate you all don't forget, um, uh, if you do pray, I don't know if you pray, and if you don't, that's fine. I don't care what you do, but um, if you do pray, pray for my friend, best friend Angie's mom, Mary, and then for the girls of my bosses. Um, there's four of them, which is Penny, Katie, Kelly, and my sweet Olivia. Anyways, you guys have a great day. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, going on a little field trip. I'll show you her other four wreaths that we do. This one has ladybugs. She uses her pine all season. I just make different bows for her. That has bees and gnomes. These are huge wreaths too. So that one's really cute. And then look at this one. This one's butterflies. I hot glued a couple butterflies on there for her. And then.
And here's some blues and yellows. And tan. Anyways, those will be sure put those outside too. And the one I'm making, well, you'll know it's on the, it goes inside her house and it matches her Christmas tree she keeps up year round.